and Sunday there in Kansas City. A friend of mine um, who got out of radio for a couple of years to start a pot business. She just got back on the air. She was uh, on the air in St. Louis. I was on in St. Louis for a number of years. And um, uh, she's from there and spent the bulk of her career there. And just got back on the air in Kansas City. So she literally had to pack all her crap and go <laughs> to the far opposite end of the state. Because St. Louis, obviously, is on the eastern border of Missouri. And uh, I had to look. This is how stupid I am, right? In my brain, I know that there's Kansas City, Missouri, and Kansas City, Kansas. Right. And the reason that's that is because it's right on the Kansas border. But in my brain, I go, oh, where's Kansas City in relation to St. Louis? And I brought up a map, and I was like, you moron, of course, it's right there on the border. Listen, I'm not good at geography either. I would have had to look at a map to understand. I think that I'm, I've probably gotten better as an adult just because I've had to look at a map so many times. Yeah, you, you got a map right behind you. I do, yeah. Even that. I mean, if I had to pick out the... I guess I know the states now, yeah. Ish, for me. Ish, yeah. I Once you think, get into New England, it gets hairy. Yeah, well, and I also think I'm better at state capitals than I am, and then I look at them and I'm like, oh, yeah, I forgot. Like All these, like, yeah. Kentucky is like Frankfurt or Lexington? something. Lexington? Oh, like, Frankfurt, I think yeah. you're right. And that's you're just like, that's not a city. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. No, I can drive That's to not, the same place. That is an American city. <laughs> I'll drive to the same place 50 times, and I'll still put it in, in Google GPS. Maps or yeah. GPS because I'm like, eh, do I know how to get there? Geography is not one of my strong suits. So you're not any good? You don't recall state capitals? Mm-hmm. Like, if I were to give you a state, do you think you'd I, remember? I probably wouldn't be great. You wouldn't be great. No. Would you, you think you'd be good, Bill? Uh, let's. I, I'm willing to go head to head. I mean, I, I'm, Idaho. I'm too. Boise. Boise. I didn't know that one, yeah. We're going one at a time. We I mean, okay, I, Bill, you're going to win, and I don't like losing. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you're going to win. I don't like losing. I know, but this is not one of my strong suits, so I don't I didn't feel like I we... it either. I said the whole thing is I brought up. Oh, like, okay. Right. I'm dumb. Let's see, how much we, <laughs> let's see how much we remember, okay? Okay. Louisiana. Oh, uh, that's uh Baton Rouge. No. Yeah. Baton Rouge. Baton Rouge. Oh, right? Yes. Oh, she yeah. did it. Okay. The Red Stick. <laughs> Michigan. Ooh. Uh, oh, I know Ann Arbor. One. No. Um, is it not Ann Arbor? It is not Ann Arbor. Oh, no. I know oh, no, no, this. no, no, no. It's uh, oh, Le- like, uh, uh, Lansing. Lansing, yeah, that's it. Wow, yes, look at Lansing, me. Lansing, Michigan. Look at you. I'm good. I'm right. sweating. I'm getting nervous. Oh, come on. You're killing it. All right. Hold on. My dad would be so proud. He's like king of knowing all the capitals. King of knowing the capitals. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Arkansas. Ooh. That one is. Oh, I've been I don't there. know this one. Bill's been there. It's. Lafayette, no. It's not Little Rock, right? Oh, it is. Wow. Little Rock, okay. Arkansas. Yeah, See, sometimes you like think, yeah, oh, it can't be the it, obvious yeah. one, yeah, but sometimes it is. Sometimes it is the obvious one. Um, my home state of Illinois. What is the capital of Illinois? I should no, know not, this one. I know it's not Chicago. Is no, it it's not Chicago. Wow. Springfield, Illinois. He All right, is. He's, right. Like, he's making a comeback. Right now. Yeah, uh, he's making a comeback. All right. Delaware. Oh, I would have no idea. Oh, Delaware. It is, Delaware is one that I forget's a state and not a city. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, yes. <laughs> Delaware. I spent a night in What's Delaware. What's a city in Delaware? Uh, the capital city. The capital city of Yeesh. Delaware is... I, I have no idea. Me either. Dover, Delaware. Dover. Would have Dover. Never, That's a water Would have park. never gotten that one. <laughs> All right. Um. Oh, here's a tough one. Vermont. Mount Pelier. Hell, oh, this Whoa. guy. Why did you know that one so quick? I don't know. <laughs> that is crazy. Some of them just lock I, in listen, your brain. I don't know how my brain works. It doesn't work great, but sometimes it works amazing. <laughs> sometimes it works yeah. when we're doing a little head-to-head capital competition. He's Rain Man on the state capitals. Yeah, I'm. No, but only as some of them. I, I would have known touch. Dover, Texas, uh, Austin. Too quick with it. Too quick with it. Okay, uh, this one will just be for uh, Bridget, oh, and if she shoot. can't get it, Bill, you can pick it up. Okay. 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 Pennsylvania. Uh, state capital of Pennsylvania, the I, Keystone State. See, the obvious one would be Pittsburgh, but I know it's not. It's not Pittsburgh. Oh, I know this one too. I know it. You do? I think so. All right, go for it. Harrisburg. Still a bird. A lot of birds in All right, I'm over this game. I'm losing too bad. <laughs> uh, keep going. It's fun. It's fun well, because it's it's rare that, like, a the major metropolitan area will be the capital, right. but that's the case in Tennessee. Nashville. Nashville. Yeah, Nashville, Tennessee. 
Um, Utah. Uh, Salt Lake City. Salt Lake City <laughs> is the Obvious capital one. there. Oregon. Ooh, this is a uh, Eugene. Nope. No? I'm sorry. Not Eugene. Oh. No. And it's not Portland. Is it in Portland? It is not Portland. I was going to say, I have no idea. You want to be thinking of which trials? Salem? Salem, Oregon. That's a place? Never even heard of that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would just thought Salem was in Massachusetts. Well, it is, <laughs> but Salem, Oregon, it was the, yeah. yeah well, I didn't know they had about 175,000 people there, and um, uh, let's see. I'll just give you a couple more here. Right. I mean, mm-hmm. there's no way to know how many states there actually are. Um, Georgia. Uh, this is a tricky one. This is a tricky one because it's not Atlanta. It's, um, mm-hmm. oh. what is it? That, Georgia. Yeah. It's. It's not Rome, is it? It's another Georgia. I don't know. It's Atlanta. It is Atlanta? Yes, Atlanta is the oh. capital of Georgia. See, we overthink it sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, one more. Okay. Maine. Mm-hmm. Um, I need to study up on my capitals. This is I mean, not See, really. This is the one How we, like, oh, who right, cares, true, right? True. I mean, you were born in 96. Yeah. I was born in 71. <laughs> so young, like, I know. Yeah, who cares? Yeah. Uh, Maine. Maine. I can't even think of a city in Maine. Maine. Yeah, Most of the word is a month. Most of the word is a month. Augustine. Close. <laughs> Augusta? Augusta. Augusta, Maine. There you go. Is going to be your nice capital clue. there. Yeah, okay. Well, then there you go. You have you have good hints. I think um, you both did pretty well. I did not do it too well, but I thank think you for Bill that. did better than you. Yeah, How about did. that? He did. Yeah. He All did. Right? Mm-hmm. Alan, I know it's kind of run its course, but what's Bridget's reaction to the Hawk Tua girl? <laughs> <laughs> Were you, I'm glad that's not me, or, you know? Well, well I mean, yeah, I don't think I would have thought of that. Um, but I really appreciate you posting so much about it on your story. You found some pretty good funny memes about it. Oh, yeah, I didn't make them. I mean, other well, people did. Well, I know. Did. You yeah, shared I'm them, but I, was, I did ones, laugh yeah. at them. Yeah. I mean, good for her. She went, like, Insta-famous real quick. I heard she got fired from her preschool job, but I now she's that, making... That was false. fake, I think. Yeah. That was fake. Okay. Yeah. But then these hats, she's making a lot of money off of it, so good for her. Finally, because all these other people jumped right on it, right. and they were making yeah. money off her hard work. Yes. Mm-hmm. And, you her know... Her hard work of thinking of that on the spot and yes, being so funny. That's right. Yeah, I'm a fan. I go crazy every time. Does not reply. In bed, Haley. Oh. <laughs> this is for her. What? You What's... gotta answer this. You gotta. What's <laughs> one move in bed that makes a man go crazy every time? Oh, that you, you do... gotta give him that hawk to and spit on that thing. You get me? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't get you. I think you gotta uh, demonstrate. Hawk. Dude, spit no, like, on it. Spit <laughs> on it. My favorite part is then spit on that thing. Yeah, yeah she just she thing. doubled down. You and, feel me? <laughs> you feel me? And the fact she thought of it so quick. Her friend's like, you'll be good at this one. And they ask it. He's like, oh, All yeah. Right. She's like, Same question, Got Bridget. It. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, the reason that I like it is because all these people started writing like, oh, my God. It's every father's worst nightmare if that was your daughter. And I'm like. Yeah, if I saw my 20-year-old daughter on there and she said the same thing, but I would still think it was funny. I would still still think it was funny. Anybody who doesn't think their daughter at that age Mm -hmm. has been doing some raunchy stuff. I think this was in Nashville. I think it was downtown Nashville. Yeah, she sounds like she's from Nashville with that accent. I bet she knows the capital of Tennessee. Yeah, she She was right there, Mm -hmm. downtown. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so people are finally starting to... um, She's starting to make some money on this merch. I really don't think it's run its course. I feel like she's going to be around for a little bit. Yeah, possibly. I think it's got, like, after the 4th of July, something dumb's going to happen, and then True. it'll be some A new viral other, other moment thing. will yeah. go, yeah. yes. I'll tell you what I do like, though. Somebody, uh, one of the shirts says, if you don't hawk to a, I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. Oh. Now, you figured the guys, the, the, Tim and DTV, those are the guys running that particular channel. I don't know if they mostly do man in the street stuff. I don't know. I'd never heard of these guys. But well, part of them has got to be like, she blew up. I don't know if it did anything for their channel. Though. I mean, it's, you know, it's you got can... everybody f- going to their channel because especially. Does it? Yeah, but you can get that clip anywhere. You now. get that clip anywhere. But if you want the clean one like you just played, yeah. you got to go to their channel and get it because, you know, there's been so many different remixes of it. So I imagine it gave them a pretty decent bump. Right. Yeah. And that's the thing on those man on the streets. I've done those little segments before. Mm-hmm. And it does. It. It all depends on who you interview, and if yeah. they give you one of those moments, it does help. It's cool, whatever. Too, yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah. Puck to it. Puck, puck, puck to it. Puck, puck, puck. 
I like this. Dude. Yeah, it's pretty good. So what, mm. you, what would have your answer have been? No, Bill, I don't, what? I, just, <laughs> I, don't, I don't speak like this. She would have been like, I just found out about something called docking, <laughs> and I'm curious about that. I would really like to see that in action. Kidding. <laughs> would have not. <laughs> Kidding. Uh, uh, you also sent me a funny meme about docking. It was like I a, did. Yeah. Somebody <laughs> posted something I tagged Bridget in a docking post. Yeah. Just to make oh, sure it's yes. top of mind, mm-hmm. just so you know. It's not any information that I imagine you'll ever uh, use Just like directly, capitals, yeah. But, you know, what's out there. What's the docking capital of the United <laughs> States? I don't know. I think it's Provincetown, Rhode Island. Oh. I'm pretty, I'm making that up. Oh, uh, I was like, wow. Huge you, gay community. You, you, I'm going to say <laughs> Provincetown, Rhode Island. Okay. Out there, there we go. by Cape Cod. There we Alan, go. Alan, I wish I liked vegetable juice. You guys were talking about vegetables. I wish I liked vegetable juice because it's so good for you, but I can't stand it. What? All the bottles of water in my fridge are yelling, juice will not replace us. I Wait. What? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Are you getting it? So stupid. Um, no, listen. Uh, when I was a kid, I over my head, guys. when I was a kid, I used to drink. Well, you're pretty young, so you don't remember. She was. She's only born yeah. in '96. Uh-huh. That only happened in, in 20, 2017. Uh, 17, 20, yeah. 16. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, when I was a kid, I used to drink V8. Ew. But there's so much salt in it that I think it kind of counteracts whatever you're supposed to get out of it. That's pretty good. And I don't like that because it's so tomato based. Yeah, I don't. Mm. Oh, so you don't like Bloody Marys? Not my fave. I love I'm, Bloody Marys. I, I can't do Bloody Marys. Love either. I I keep. That's one of the things I'm like. All right, I'm gonna try it again. And like. I choked one down, like last year, and I was just like, it was so gross. It's I just love not, it's the wrong kind of thick, and, oh. <laughs> the wrong wrong amount of wet. It, it is, it is um, a very thick drink. I yeah. will say, I lived in Milwaukee for a short stint for work, and I was there in the summer. Milwaukee has insane Bloody Marys yeah. because they're known for their cheese. They just pile up all these different kinds of cheese on top. I think you just so like it's cheese. like a meal. Yeah. yeah. So I think it's like a meal. Yeah, I, all I the stuff like I when they put sip. like bacon on it and yeah. like yeah, and it's like just marinara sauce at that point. True, they so got they got stacks of donuts on there. Yeah, Milwaukee was definitely more cheese based. So I'll take a sip, take a bite of cheese, take well, a sip, take a bite of cheese, and and they also give you a little shot of beer with it. Okay. In, in Milwaukee, again, they're known for beer and cheese. So I liked those Bloody Marys, but again, I had like chasers to get it down. And they do the what do they call that when it's the beer in uh, uh, Michelada? Michelada, yeah, where it's beer in. Tomato juice That's mixed good together. Too, boy. Ew. No. Uh, up in Canada, they throw in Clamato in a lot of drinks. Oh, they got some of those up So in it's the... on all the shelves up like here in Toronto if you're going to shopping. When I would go uh, work the road and be up in like the outer skirts of like Minnesota, Wisconsin, mm-hmm. North Dakota, they would have those with the Clamato juice and. It was like a dare to get somebody that wasn't from the area to drink one, and I tried. Yeah, really bud and cool. clamato in a can. Yeah. 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 So are you more of a mimosa guy if you're going to drink in the morning? I mean, I just, like, I'd rather have a mimosa, but honestly, like, if I'm going to drink in the morning, like, give, just give me, like, a Tito soda or, like, a. Yeah. You know, oh, wow. When we were drinking. Right into it. As soon yeah. as I got up, we were in Indiana this weekend. As soon as I got up, I went to the bar fridge and grabbed a, a, a margarita. Oh, you did? <laughs> I started wow. early. Just going yeah. with tequila. Yeah, that's right. What did you think of Bloomington? Well, I've been there uh, before when my wife and I had only been together for a few years. She took me to Bloomington, and um, I had never been there. It's cool. I mean, it's, you know, this last time, it had been 10 years since we had been back, and there was obviously a lot of stuff happens in that time in a college town, so Mm -hmm. she was really kind of turned around. But we went and had dinner at this one spot that's been there for 50 years. What's it called? Do you remember? It's called the Trojan Horse. Yes. Okay, so my one of my best friends growing up, she married a guy who was on the coaching staff at Indiana. Yeah. Bloomington's a big basketball town. Yep. So everyone knows everyone. Mm-hmm. It's a vi- it is a college town. Yeah. So I went to visit. We went there for dinner, and then we went to Nick's afterwards. Yeah. Did you guys hit up Nick's? Yeah, yeah, we went to Nick's. Yeah. I heard that was the more, like, for older crowd. All the rest of them, like 21-year-olds, they're a college Well, kids. even if you go to the places where the kids are lining up, you can still sit outside and, like, have a drink. Yeah. But we, you will, when we went 10 years ago, is like my wife was kind of marveling at how different – uh, college kids dress when they're going to the club now. Because, mm-hmm. you know, like, my wife's 10 years younger than me, but, I mean, yeah. still, she was, you know, going to co- She was, like, class of, what? 2000. 2000, I guess, like, yeah. I think that's what the year she... Because she's around 03, my age. Oh, yeah. three, I think, was she was class of 03. I think. Okay, for college. Um, Yeah, for college. And uh, she's like, we would just go out in, like, jeans and T-shirts, right? Yeah. Girls now are all lined up to go to a college... Bar. Bar. 
like they're into club. Mm-hmm. It's like know? a hole in the wall, but it's they're wide, wearing yes. dresses. See, Mini skirts and heels. And, it, you know. In my college days, you know, which was just a few years ago. Yep. Um, th- same thing, though. You would wear dresses. And you heels, went to Johns Hopkins, right? Everything. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. Super smart. Uh huh. Yeah. That's why I know all of the <laughs> State capitals. capitals. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's not a geography school, Bridget. <laughs> True. <laughs> True. But I remember, like, and you wanted a new dress for every week. And so you go to, like, Forever 21 or Charlotte Roos, these stores, and buy, like, cheap the dresses. Cheap dresses. Yeah. But now, and also, fast fashion has gotten even more affordable because you can get things off of Shein yeah. or I love Shein. Uh, get them in a couple Temu days. or Timu, Timu whatever yep. it's called. And so you can get all sorts of. You know, and I like It's that wear child this. labor that really makes those Ooh, pieces. All right. Maybe that, I should not say I probably wear Shein. Those tiny hands, those <laughs> fine <laughs> motor skills. When that's I said what I don't really... get a lot of hate on this show, I'm got to get a lot no, please, of hate. Everybody orders from Shein. I know. Yeah. yeah. It's great. I mean, and you can get quality things. Sometimes, sometimes you get things in. You can oh, tell it was definitely... like this jacket I'm wearing right now. It's cheating, guys. It was mm-hmm. like I could three, tell. Three dollars. Three dollars. You <laughs> can tell. Yeah, okay. But okay. So when I went to St. Bart's, you know, a very bougie place. Uh-huh. One of the bathing suits that I wore was from Sheen. The amount of compliments I got on that bathing suit, where is it from? Mm-hmm. I was kind of embarrassed to say it because I'm around all these rich people. I'm like, yeah. well, it was like eight ninety nine on Sheen, guys. <laughs> Why would you be embarrassed? I mean, that's how people yeah. keep their money is True. they spend none of it. And that's also, True. like, one of our favorite things is being from the Midwest when you get something that people find cool and you're like, got it on sale, got it cheap. That's like, yeah. our, like oh, <laughs> the pride we You'll take. You'll never guess yeah. where I got this. Yeah. $8.99. Yeah, cents. at yeah. the thrift store or yeah. whatever. Yeah, I got this at Goodwill. Yeah, I also on was on at a, a, a going away party this weekend, and they said to dress like, you know, nice Sunday vibe. So I'm like, all right, I'll wear a little sundress. So many compliments on that. I'm like, again, Sheen. Sheen, hmm. I should really, not be a Sheen spokesperson, but here real, I am. Well, mm-hmm. listen. Hi, I'm Bridget Linton. Are you worried about <laughs> child labor overseas? Well, you want I'm to look not. good, but have no conscience. <laughs> I'm not concerned. And I don't have children. Why should I be concerned I don't about really other care, people? Do you? <laughs> <laughs> and keep your money. This is where you should shop. Uh huh. I actually don't even know how to say it. Is it Sheen or I think Sheen? Sheen. I've, had, I've, I've heard people tell me both. Yeah, like, same. Because I, I, I was doing either. a bit about it. Because all their uh, Alerts, if you have their app, look like you're getting an Amber alert because they use like the like warning, warning. (laughs) (laughs) It's like, and they are Amber alerts for the kids making the clothes. Oh, oh. All right, now I feel now I feel really guilty for buying so many things from. But I bet you get over it yeah, in no, time no. for the next mm-hmm. sundress party. Yeah, well, once <laughs> the next once bachelorette party, I'm like, all right, I've already spent fall. so much on this trip. Mm-hmm. I'm going to Sheen for the. That's outfits. right. Yeah. All right, uh, I've got to take a break here. You want to send me a text, 35192. I'll have those third-eye blind 